So I actually, this is the first time I've ever been to Campus Party, and I've, I've been invited before to Campus Party in Spain and in Germany, and it's exciting to come to it in Brazil. And I think it's just from what you can see if you walk around, it's clear that it's a way to bring together a lot of people that are really excited about technology. Uh, technology is a lot of different things. It's gaming, it's sharing information, it's social networking. And I think it's just the, the best thing is bringing everyone together and it allows people to do what they want. And I don't think, I think there's a lot of conferences and a lot of events where people come together and they're told what to do. And I think it's great just to get, bring people together and let them do what they want to do. I think that's really where the most exciting things come out. So I think that, you know, obviously it's impossible to predict the future. And if I could, um, I'd be building it right now. But if you look at the trends that are going on and you see the way things are moving, everything's going mobile. And mobile means not just adapting a website to a mobile environment. It doesn't mean just making the screen smaller. It doesn't mean just, you know, showing contacts that are online on a mobile phone. It means thinking about what context people are in in a mobile phone. So where are people? What are they doing? The fact that it's on them all the time and what things you can do with that. It has to go with the, you know, it, it, it goes to the fact that the mobile phone is now a camera. Now everyone has a camera on them all the time, right? And what can you do to make that, you know, to make that experience better? So I think that the innovation that we're going to see in social networking is going to be very much around communications and mobile and how people share that content in different ways. You know, I'm, a pro I'm a technologist. I believe that technology makes our lives better. And I think that if you look at the evolution of how did we get to social networking, you look back and you, know, you, you see that we started out with you know, email. And email was a, was a technology that radically changed the way people work. And we've gone from email to instant messaging, right, to we've gone to, you know, email is, is, is allowing you to do one-to-one -one communication. Instant messaging is allowing you to do that in real time. Then social networking is creating an environment around that communication where you can receive from many people to you relevant information and you can syndicate out from you to many people that content. And you can do it not just with words, but you can do it with videos, images, um, location, and all forms of different types of content that you want to share. And I think that actually makes people's lives much richer. It keeps track of our lives in a way that wasn't possible before. Think back the last five years of your life, and I'm sure you have a lot more documentation, memories, photos, contacts that you wouldn't have without social networking. So it really provides a framework and timeline for our lives.